Mary and Marshall Akers have always enjoyed walks in the park. But during one of those outings in 2006, Mary had an uneasy feeling that their lives would never be the same. He said, let's go to a park, and I need to tell you something. And so we did. My heart is pounding 90 miles an hour the whole time. I knew something was up. I took Mary and, and said, I got to come clean with all the many infidelities I had with many, many, many women. I confessed it all to her. I've been holding this for years. I cannot continue that. And I said, is this recent? And he said, no, our whole marriage. And more times than I can count. Mary wasn't completely blindsided. She had experienced the feelings of betrayal and hurt before. I was going through his clothes to see which shirts I should wash, and I noticed one of the shirts smelled like women's perfume. And I panicked, but I never confronted him on it. I didn't want to know the truth at that point. I had four babies. What would I do if he did walk? I was scared. I was really scared. The couple met at a church camp when they were teenagers. They were barely out of high school when they married. We weren't even close to being ready to getting married. We were two kids that were in love with being in love. Um, and he was still very much a single guy. I thought it would just be that experience that, hey, I got a, a wife now. She's living with me. We're going to have sex and all the things that go along with marriage and stuff like that. With children came the responsibilities of fatherhood. Getting off the graveyard shift at 8 in the morning with four kids, small, OK? And we have to go do this or do something with the kids. The pressures of it that I couldn't deal with, uh, but also a control issue that I had to feel that I was in control. After a one night stand, Marshall discovered an escape that became a lifelong addiction. Constantly being this guy, switching to this guy, switching to this personality. What I found out now through the years, all this stuff with women and the sexual addiction and everything in there, I was looking for God, but I was looking in the wrong places. To his family and friends, Marshall kept up appearances as a dedicated Christian family man, but his marriage and faith always came second. The Bible says if I was moving into that double-souled person and I was living two different lives, I didn't realize it back then, but that's what I was doing. He knew he had to tell Mary the truth. Probably the hardest thing I ever had to do, besides getting all my kids together and telling them what, I, what Dad had done. Really difficult. And how sorry I was what I'd done to their mother and so forth. That was extremely difficult. Whew. Meanwhile, Mary began the painful process of deciding what she should do. This was going to be the ultimate test of not just my love for my husband. I knew that um, bottom line, that if we divorced, that the enemy would start a chain reaction in our family. And uh, I refused to let that happen. Let's tough it out. Let's fight this out. Let's, let's win so we can, you know, put the enemy in his place and tell him, no, I don't think so. She knew she would need to forgive her husband. Easier said than done. Of course, I heard every sermon on forgiveness that you'd need. So I did. I did my best. But inside, I was, my heart was breaking. Marshall knew he hurt his wife and family deeply and only God's grace could restore their relationship. I told the Lord, I says, you know what, I'm done. Done. I had told God that uh, I'm so sorry for what I've done and how I, the people I've offended, I've offended you in the cross and asked for forgiveness. And he showed me, literally, um, all, the sin is laid out, and it's all on level ground, and it covers it all. And my mind has changed 100%, um, and I thought it never could. Marshall has been faithful in his walk with the Lord and his commitment to Mary since his confession in 2006. And now, going on 45 years of marriage, the Acres are looking forward to many more. It's different. It's different when totally you start different. every day. 
with him first. That makes all the difference in the world and leaving yep. the word and just spending time. And I love him with all my heart. And I know we got a lot of years ahead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right.